you'll see that you have five of these long stri skinny strips of brown paper or tan. These are paper quilling or quilling paper. And you're gonna use these to create the outer hoop of the um, dream catcher. You're gonna use this tool. This is called a slotted tool and it has this, I don't know if you can see, there's a space there. And what you do is you slide that into the space. Now, you might have it like this. That is not what you want. You wanna pull it all the way to the end as much as you can. It's okay if just a teeny bit is poking out, but you really don't wanna have any if possible. And then you just start turning. And you turn, turn, turn. You're gonna do that for the entire length of this strip. Now you might find that it starts going like this, right? You don't want that to happen. You're making a flat kind of a, a wheel or what's gonna end up happening is it'll be a circle. So if you find that it's kind of going off to the side, just tap it <clears throat> and put it back together. You can take your time, but don't work too slowly with this because this should be a quick part of this. And again, just tap it to keep it together. You go all the way. Just spinning that tool. All the way to the end. When you get to the end, it looks like this. And just pull that out. You can roll it in between your fingers to kind of make it stay. But what we're gonna do is we want for these parts to end up this size. So we're gonna let go of it and let it untwist a bit. You can lift it up and kind of drop it a little. And you may end up having to kind of help it along a little bit just by moving it, kind of untwisting it a bit. Until it's about the right size. <clears throat> Now, at that point, you're gonna take a tiny, teeny, tiny bit of glue. And you're gonna glue the very end to where it is. And when I say a tiny bit of glue, I mean a very teeny, tiny bit of glue. See how little that is? You just have to hold it in place for a short time because it's such a little bit of glue that it doesn't take very long for it to dry. Do that to all five of them. And then Follow the next video to figure to find out how to turn this into a crescent shape.